Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! The latest figures for accident and emergency waiting times in England are the worst since records began 14 years ago. The health watchdog NHS Improvement says hospitals are continuing to face a mammoth task coping with rising numbers of patients. Our health editor Hugh Pym sent this report from the Royal London Hospital. How's that pain, Ivan? Patients on trolleys in crowded corridors, staff working flat out. Scenes like these were common in hospitals across the NHS this winter. The latest a &E figures show that in England, things got even worse in March than in previous months. The pressure's as acute as ever. The NHS was designed to deliver care at the point of need. And what we're seeing is that nurses are struggling to deliver the quality and level of care that they want to deliver. Uh, patients are frustrated because they're not getting the care that they want. It's just a very, very difficult situation. The proportion of patients treated or assessed within four hours in A&E was the lowest over a year since records began in England. By March, it was just 84.6% dealt with in that time. Slightly higher was the latest figure from Scotland, which was for January, with 87.2% within four hours. Whereas in Wales and Northern Ireland, the average waiting times for the latest months available were worse than in England and Scotland. Some hospitals like this one, the Royal London, have worked hard to develop new methods of managing the flow of patients, even in the face of extreme pressure over the winter. In partnership with the local ambulance service, they send consultants out to try to treat more patients in the community. And for those who are admitted, a big effort is made to get them home as quickly as possible. We have joint meetings between the doctors, the nurses, the therapists. That speeds up process so that patients get the therapy they need, the tests they need, the treatment they need, just slightly quicker. And these marginal gains can take a day or two days off length of stay. But nobody denies it's a really demanding task. There's still relentless pressure. It's what one senior doctor has called eternal winter. Hugh Pym, BBC News. I've been